Hello and welcome to a tour of my sound therapy studio. My name is Jennifer and I'm going to show you around the room a little tour and also play some of the instruments briefly in case you've not heard them before or their sound. This is the Burma bell or flat bell. And that resonates for a long time. I'd like to get some more of those, some larger ones, which have a deeper sound. Leave that there. So let's have a look around the room. Um, first off is these beautiful chest of drawers. It's quite large, so I can store lots of things in the uh, drawers. There we have my Native American flute, clap sticks, singing bowl, lotus tongue drum, and some little tips along the way of how I've set up on a budget, I came across this, it's a bathroom caddy, it's bamboo, and I use that to put some of my equipment and beaters in so I can see them quickly if I want to play. Down here is the calabash water drum, <clears throat> which as says, fill it with water. This sits on the top. You can play it dry without the water. I might do a video of that another day. Handpan drum. Let's just make a sound. A guitar, shamanic drum, <clears throat> excuse me, shamanic drum. And then up here, the first of three clothing racks, actually. Bamboo clothing racks, racks, not wraps. <clears throat> and these S hooks from the hardware store are really handy. Just to quickly lift up, put back. I ended up with more instruments than hooks. So for now, I've cut up a metal coat hanger some more hooks, chimes, and the canary seed pods. I think it's called a canary seed pod curtain. There's the kalimba. And the good thing about the racks is I can add things like the rain stick. Sometimes I'll put my Native American flute across there. The zaphir chimes. And these are the Koshi chimes. Then we have the ocean drum, the Siari, which hails from northern Ghana, which is a dried gourd with different sized stones in. And then just from the second hand shop, I bought a couple of these little cushions to sit them on so that when I finish playing, I can put them down fairly quietly without disturbing the client. And then these white slatted features I picked up from a house that was having a garage sale, just to break things up a bit. Add a plant. There's the tincture bells or the Tibetan symbols. And a client can either sit in the comfy chair with some cushions or they can lie on the ground on a yoga mat if they wish. Obviously I can only fit one client in here at a time. And over here is my digital Roland piano. This section I keep, I might have a candle lit. There's the tuning forks, 
crystals if that's what the client might be interested in. If they're not into crystals, I normally just remove them from the room and just have on hand the instruments that they are interested in. So if we go back, this is as you're walking in. Again, there's the keyboard section, the three bamboo clothing racks, and then some soft furnishings, which I pick up fairly cheaply from home decor or second-hand shops. And I'll probably add a bit more to it, but as you can see, we don't want the room too full because we need some space for playing and for the client to enjoy themselves. Um, because we're near the beach, if the ocean waves are quite loud or there's the sound of rain or a breeze, I might open the window slightly just to add those sounds to the session as well, which is nice. So there we go. This is what I've been building for the last six months or so. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my room. It will be great to see some video of other people's uh, music and sound studios as well. All right, thanks for watching.